Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So guys, nearly a day ago from the time of making this video, the new updates or the new versions for the Pale Rain jailbreak and the Dopamine jailbreak are out as you can see them on their official GitHub pages. And first of all, let's discuss the update to the Pale Rain jailbreak. So the reason for the delay in making this video is I wanted to test one thing. So as you can see this post by me on Twitter, I had notified the parent team that the root test jailbreak for iOS 18 beta 5 is working fine, but root fall is not working and I was getting this error. I tried to create the fake FS. So thanks to the parent team to fix it in the new update which is Pelerin 2.0.1 so if you can see it right here we have the fixes for the stock bug for not creating the over positioning volume in iOS 18 beta 5 so as you can see the root full jailbreak for iOS 18 beta 5 or higher is now fixed and I try to install Cydia and yes it is working and you can see Cilio, I am successfully jailbroken root 4 and yes rootless was already working. So now the loader disables the idle timer so your device will not sleep while it is downloading the base system or Cilio etc. Alright and we have some other changes. You can simply now get these files for macOS or Linux to get the Pale Rain jailbreak going or the easiest method is to visit the official website for Pale Rain, hit download and if you are on macOS you can simply copy this command and simply run it to install Pale Rain. and likewise on Linux it is the same command and if you want a full guide it is in the description and for your Windows PCs you can use the Pale Nix. You can see it is also updated and I am at its official GitHub page and it has been updated to version 1.1.7. Right now you can use the iOS 17.6 and 17.6.1 root for jailbreak guide to jailbreak iOS 18 beta 5 also. So I will leave it in the description. Now let's discuss the update to the dopamine jailbreak. So as you can see we have this new version version 2.2.2. As you can see it fixes some issues and the mainly it fixes an issue where the Wi-Fi with WPA2 and three security enterprise networks were not working with dopamine 2.2 but this issue is now fixed also for your ease you can use the dopamine app itself to get the new version 2.2.2 update within the app using the update function or of course you can manually install the new dopamine update using troll store lastly guys if you want to downgrade from ios 16.7.10 to iOS 16.6 or higher, yes you can, the Cryptex one is compatible and a full guide is in the description if you want to do it right now. That's all for this jailbreak update, I will see you in a new video, goodbye and take care of yourself.